Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty-four in chapter ten. In this chapter, we talk about the rotational motion. At this one, you can see, and、uh, this is a merry-go-round, and two child on it, and the dad act a force F. This one we don't know. We need to find it on this、uh, merry-merry-go-round, and then what happens? This merry-go will. Rotate right, and initially the angular velocity is zero. The final angular velocity is given. It's a fifteen revolution per minute. There we must convert it in the unit radians per second. This is how I convert the unit. And the time taken, delta t is given ten seconds. From these three quantities, very obviously you can consider you need to find the alpha angular acceleration. Right. The next one is. How can you find the force? Is there any way to connect the force with the alpha? This quantity is given. Sure, we can consider the torque, the net torque on this system. See, the torque can equal to r times the force. The force, this r is given. The radius of merry-go-round, right? Times the force, and you and this torque can also equal to i times alpha. Agree, I is momentum of inertia for this system. Alpha we can find it there very easily. The next step is looks like we need to find the I, and this I momentum of inertia includes two part, this circle, and this two child. Agree, so this circle is very easy. This is, you look at your textbook, you can find it's one half m r square, and then this two child. So the two child, one child is there. So one child is from the center of the sphere, center of mass to where it is. So this is m times r square, right? And it's two child, so two m r square. Now the total r equal to add them together. Now we look at this equation r f equal to this momentum of inertia for the system times alpha, and alpha can be found there. So now we input all these two equations inside. We can get the function, the force as a function of this one. Inside this function, you can see the mass is given, r is given, omega is given, omega naught is given, delta t is given. You just input all the known quantities, get the final answer: one seven zero newton. Thank you.